Hello, how are you today? I am going to change my voice, so YouTube can understand my English better. In today's video, we are going to talk about saltwater microorganisms and hitchhikers. Starting with Spirorbus snail worm. Tiny white spirals on your glass, rocks, substrate and even power heads. They are harmless filter feeders. Live in small spiral shell that the worm pops out to feed much like a feather duster. Next, the munid isopod is a harmless and even beneficial herbivorous isopod, less than 5 mm in length. They are typically found on the glass and rock and just about any surface that has algae to rasp. Moving on to the scary bristle worms. Some types are beneficial, but those that are not can, if left alone, overrun your tank. Best to identify the type. This one is harmless and eat detritus which reduces ammonia. Pineapple sponges, known as sypha or sicken, can grow on corals and keep the coral pieces together. Vea cereophilus is a species of sea slug, adored nudibranch. This red-orange nudibranch can grow up to 6 mm in size. It is beneficial and eats green algae from rocks and glass. Jewel anemone are common live rocket hikers. They are brightly colored and have ball-like on their tentacles. They are not harmful to corals but might reproduce and take over your rock, similar to their cousins, strawberry anemone. Also common hitchhikers, not harmful and sometimes look nice in crevices. Both anemone are active at night. Don't be scared when you see them, unlike Aptasia they do not sting corals and live on their own. You can remove them with turkey baster. Up next is a type of feather duster. The spaghetti worm, is a segmented worm, a marine relative of the earthworm. These worms are normally harmless to trinus eaters, but they can annoy corals if they are constantly moving around near the base of them. We've had those for six months now and we notice no changes in the coral growth. Aptasia sea anemones can overpopulate your reef tank and sting corals. Simply pulling them out only leads to a population explosion. Bergia nudibranch is a solution or H2O2 can sometimes be helpful if used early on. Hope you are enjoying the video. Please like and subscribe and let us know in the comment what you would to see on our channel. This was a quick tips for this week. And this is an update on our tank. Everything is living and growing nicely and in harmony so far. If you want to see the setup for this tank, follow the link provided and tell us what you think we should probably adjust. It is time for goodbye now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe it motivates us and helps us keep the channel going. Goodbye. Au revoir. Enjoy.